Let's talk about Ahsoka Episode 3, baby. Maybe let's not talk about it. Look, is Disney saved? No, Disney's not saved at this point. It's clearly and utterly not saved because, remember, it all ends up with Luke Skywalker throwing a lightsaber over his shoulder and drinking green milk from a sea cow's titty. That's where we end up. It's where we end up. So there is no saving Star Wars unless you retcon the Disney trilogy. Okay, so what do we have here? We have more bastardization of the Star Wars lore. Anyone can be a Jedi, according to Ahsoka. It's not anything special. You just need training and hard work and you can be a Jedi. How did Sabine become anyone at the Jedi Temple to start with? Because in my understanding, you needed to have some kind of high force sensibility, but she seems to have zero and the robot even confirmed this. So what the hell? She can't do anything. She can't feel anything with the force. She can't move the cup. And she's a mediocre fighter. What, what has she got going for her? Oh, she was a Mandalorian. She doesn't even have good Mandalorian skills. I'm sure, anyway, look, I'm not going to get into that. Uh, we've got the member berry. Let's just try and train with the helmet on. Look, that's obviously for people who've never seen Star Wars, the first one because now you're just duplicating scenes and it looks like it's just lazy at this point. And I'll mention this in the previous episode, Dave Filoni saying that's in having the robot say that's in the past move on. I think that was a specifically put in line to try and tell people move on star Wars, the six movies, which is Canon. Everything else can go and get fucked is in the past and move on. And because remember Kathleen Kennedy wants everybody to move on. Like, like the opening line of the first Disney movie said, this will begin to make things right. Well, no, that will begin to destroy everything that George Lucas created because anyone can be a Jedi, according to Ahsoka, even the green-skinned woman's Latino kid who wants to grow up and be a Jedi one day instead of a fireman or a policeman or a doctor or a lawyer or a garbage collector. What else do we have? We've got the most idiotic dumb space battle in the history of idiotic dumb space battles. We're not talking, I've got to make a good show while the Millennium Falcon gets away, as Princess Leia pointed out. That's the only reason for the ease of our escape. We're not talking that. They are literally trying to blow up Ahsoka's ship. And once it's disabled, instead of blowing up the ship, let's try and shoot the stupid idiot that's got mag boots on on the wing of the ship in space. Why not just park back and go boom, 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 and it's done. In fact, you've got three ships. Here's another option. One above, one below, one behind. Ahsoka can't defend against three different directions at the same time. So there's that. Or send the damn robot droid flying that other ship straight into, into Ahsoka's ship and blow her the fuck up. You're done. You don't need to get a spaceship close enough that someone with a melee weapon can take the damn thing out. That's just fucking stupid. It's just fucking stupid. It's just fucking stupid. Oh, it reeks of the most idiotic, stupid incompetence you've got going. That whole thing. They had, the writers had to have come up with a better way to do this because that was just plain fucking dumb. Of course, how on earth did the six ships that were trying to attack Ahsoka know that she was going to take jump out of hyperspace there and just happen to be ready? That's a funny... Anyway, look, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there. Generic entertainment value. Ah, uh, look. Parts of it were okay. Parts of it were just dull and boring. There's a lot of silence. There's a lot of... Anyway, whatever. I don't know if they're trying to duplicate Blade Runner silence and long pauses between. I don't know if they're trying to do an artistic thing like that, but it just doesn't work. Dropping in member berries doesn't work. Changing the lore of Star Wars doesn't work. And being the most stupid dumb villains in the history of stupid dumb villains doesn't work. And Dave Filoni's not the savior of anything because we always end up with Luke Skywalker throwing a lightsaber over his shoulder and drinking the titty milk of a sea cow.